Hey Facebook Live, I'm Jameson with RogueEngineer.com. I'm Jamie, and that's Brayden. <laughs> and today we're going to show you how to make this fun little game that we found online at Uncommon Goods. It's called Puck It. It's kind of like a version of tabletop okay. hockey. One more and we're done. One more and we're done. <laughs> <laughs> because that's not for me. I don't like hockey. Okay, alright, so... So, as you've noticed, we've already pre-cut and stained a lot of the pieces, uh, pretty much all the pieces that we'll need because there are two different stain colors and we won't be able to do that after assembly. Um, the frame of this is going to be made out of one by twos. The sides are 20 inches long and then we've got three boards in the middle that are 15 inches long. That makes the bottom of this game board, um, which is made out of quarter inch thick plywood, that is going to be cut at 16 and a half inches wide by 20 inches long. Um, you want to tell them about the goal of this game? The goal of the game, from what I understand, is there are 16 pucks. You each start with eight pucks and you try to shoot it through the hole and get the most pucks on the other side. So, and that, like, whoever gets the most pucks so wins. There's yes. this little hole that is pucks. going to be the hole in the center board. And yes, you have to aim through that hole and you have to get all like of the this. pucks like on the opponent's side. Exactly, through the hole. Very like good, that, bud. Get, get through the hole, you Once win. you yep, get you all get the pucks on the opponent's side, you win. So, I'm going to start off by showing you guys how I cut my pucks. Um, the safest way to do it is going to be, make sure you've got your blade tall enough. We set up what I call an auxiliary fence. This is just a small three quarter inch board that I clamp to the fence and what this allows <clears throat> is um, this is set behind the table saw so that when you push this board it's set to a half inch away from the blade when you push this um, dowel through the blade you've got more space by the fence so that it doesn't get bound up in the fence and you don't run into problems so let me go ahead and show you how this works Two more, it makes eight. Yes, that's right. Okay, now with the blade stop, you've got your half inch puck. Like I said, we've already gone ahead and cut 16 of these and stained them. And one what thing you want to do before you stain the pucks is I sanded them down on what is this 150 grit sandpaper, just kind of smooth the bottom and around the sides. And Make it pretty. What colors do we stain them with? Um, I went ahead and stained the pucks and the frame with dark walnut. And then, what is that one? Provincial. Provincial, yes. Provincial is the base. So. Okay, so, I'm sure you guys have a question on. Some of you may, some of you may up. already know how I did it, but um, cutting that slot in the middle for the pucks to go through. This one, right? I just went ahead and marked, mm -hmm. I marked the opening on here. And then we'll need to set our, since our pucks are a half inch thick, I went ahead and set the height of the blade at three quarters of an inch thick. That gives us just a little wiggle room when that puck goes through there. Um, and then we find center and then measure off of that. The opening of this, uh, of this center board should be between one and a quarter to one and a half times the diameter of the puck size. So our pucks are uh, one and a half inch diameter, and we went with 1.5 times can I, that. Dad, can I talk? And I talk go ahead. What do you, what you got to say? So you can. I think you can use all, all the kinds of. Say it to the camera. Now. But you can use all the kinds of fire. All the what? All the kinds of size. All the yep. different like sizes. Tiny? Yeah. You could use you could use a different size dowel yeah. if you have a different size. Make a different um, size board, maybe a smaller board. You could smaller absolutely. Dowel. Maybe smaller sure. sticks to. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Good thought. And like here? Yeah. I so like whichever the case, good. whichever diameter pucks you have, <laughs> it should be between one and a quarter times that to one and a half times that. I went with one and a half times the diameter of our pucks because our kids are going to be playing. They're younger. I wanted to make it a little bit easier on them. If you want to make it tougher, you make the opening a little bit narrower. 
So, we've got our blade height set to three quarters of an inch high, and then we will start it up and I'll just drive it down the line here from right to left and uh, open that hole up. Now I don't need to cut that. I don't need to cut that entire groove, but you guys get the point of how this uh, how it eventually turns to that. That's right. Okay. So better. And I'm standing. Yeah. If and you want to go ahead and glue and nail this thing together. Okay. Brayden, you just watch your watch your little hands. Don't get in the way. Okay. Put a little bit of wood glue on the ends before you nail it together. Um. What size nails are you using? These are one and a quarter inch brad nails. 18 gauge, one and a quarter inch brad nails. Okay. You see that thing, that little hole right there? Mm -hmm. That's for your thing, I think. For your thing? Yeah. For your... Oh. You alright? Yep. No big deal. <laughs> Dude, it's just a little. It did. It kind of came out the side a little bit, but you know what? We can fix that. Okay. If it comes out of the side, just don't care because you can fix it. Yeah. If it comes out the side, just don't care. You can fix it. It's not that big of a deal. Not the end of the world. I right? said that. You don't have to say it. I did say the end. It's not the end of the world. It's not the that end. That was of the world. a good one. Thank you. Now be careful on that. Mm -hmm. I will. Mm -hmm. I will. Break it, I think. You gotta look out for mom, man. Yeah, I get wild with this thing. <laughs> Watch out. Do it on top. Do it on top. Huh? Do it on top. Do what? So Do while top. she's doing that, I'll explain to you guys a little bit about how this yeah, thing works. Um, so there's actually. So you shoot the pot and you try to get it through the hole. But how do if you, you shoot the you pot? Lose. You don't just flick it with your hands, right? We got bungee cord, and you could use just uh, regular bungees that you buy from the store. Um, we actually had some How cord do we do it? Do it. Give, give, give me one. I'll show it to you. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Super just, excited. We're going to put this thing together, and then you can try it all you want, I promise. So we've got bungee cord. Um, we're going to drill some holes in each end of this thing and tie some bungee cord. Hold on, you get to play in a second, I promise. See how fun this game's gonna be? Yeah. So, you like can't even wait to play it. Tie the bungee like, cord, really. and then you use the cord to flick the uh, pucks. Try and score them through the uh, the center of the game. Oh no! Oh no! What? What? What happened? It's loose. It's really loose. Because I haven't nailed it. Anything though? Oh! Love oh. you. Watch your hands, man. All right. Oh, oh, mom. Almost done. Oh, you shoot right there. What are you talking about? You shoot Falling right there. through there. Look, look. Okay. Right through the board. board. Oh, right it's there. fine. Goofball. Leave me alone. All right, now flip that thing over and let's nail the base on. <laughs> All right. Maybe put a little glue on first, you think? Yeah. yeah. The other I this side. One side I like that side. side. This? Oh, yeah, that's not the pretty side. Yes. All right. Put a little glue. Put all of the glue around All it. the glue all the way around. Right, bud? Yeah. If you don't have really good glue, you should buy some. You should just buy some. The glue wood. that we're using is... Wood glue. Wood glue. It's nice. actually rapid fuse wood glue, and it sets up really quickly. You're killing me. Killing so when you're doing a project like this, it's kind of nice. Now why is glue together where I'll make the legs? Okay. Where I'll make the legs? The legs are the table. Are you good? 
It's already glued in place. So the benefits of this rapid fuse wood glue is it actually they say it sets up in a couple of minutes, but I don't know. To be honest, I think it sets up in 30 to 40 seconds. So it's handy for little projects like this that uh, people can be impatient about getting I'm not impatient. No, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about him. Even that's what I heard. Huh? I heard your treasure chest at school. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You were a bucket filler today, right? Yeah. That means he does kind things to others. And he earns no prizes. What, what did I do? I don't know. Oh, you you did somebody else's job. Yeah, I done somebody else's job. They weren't there today. You good? Yeah. Voila! Look there. there. Look at that little game board. Wow. All right, and now we're gonna drill the holes so we can put the, uh, what do we call it, a shooter? The cord a shooter? A bungee cord? A bungee cord. Okay, so I uh, am not exactly sure how to, do this. how to do it, but where to put this. I'm gonna guess at like a quarter inch? two uh, inches, two inches from the inside, so that's two and three quarter inches from the, uh, from the back. And then you. you probably do. And then I'm gonna come. So one and one equals a two. Quarter of an inch. Yeah. Three two. Three. Off the bottom of the board, since the pucks are a half inch thick, we want the the cord to rest right in between them. And what? Right we, in the middle of, of so the. So we puck. went ahead and cut the uh, cords already and tied a knot in one end. What length did you cut these two? I cut them to the same length as the of the width, which is 16 Six and a half. And we kind of did a little bit of a test to see how far back you would need to kind of pull it to get the puck to shoot a pretty decent amount across the board. Well, we decided on what, like two this inches? One's a plain one. Leave enough yeah. for two inches. That's why we're, yeah, we're leaving two inches from the, from the cord to the back of the board. Um, obviously this is one of those things that you can play with because your cord may be different um, and it may loosen up over time but the cool thing is you just untie it on one side and tighten it back up. Tighten it back up. got a sleigh to hold him up. Sleigh to hold him up. That's what he's standing on. Because he's not eight. You're five. I'm not eight. You're not short. Short stuff. So if I had to do this over. 66. I would probably drill You're these 30. holes. You know. Before I stained it. Five and five. Five and five. Which somebody did recommend. Higher than Why did my Santa? Because I have a Santa hat. So yeah, we've got definitely got some blowout on the inside, which when you've already stained the boards, you can see it does not look very pretty. I can fix it. She's, no fix, she's the fixer. No worries. All right, so I've already, like I said, we've already got this tied on one end. Pull the cord through the other end. There you go. Then you put a knot on the other end. Then you put a knot on the other end. Huh? Put a knot on the other end. Right? You want to fix it later? Or you want to? Well, I kind of wanted to fix it before you were done, but... Well, we don't need to. We'll do it later. Dude, how about you just leave it the way it is? Because it was really Oh, this is going to be good, man. This is going to be fun. Okay, I'm... Okay, this is how you'll play. What? Yes! Did you already score? Yes! 
Yeah. What? I'm the best at this. Thing. You're the best at this already? Yeah. You should have made it harder. Shot. Yeah. Shot it. I shot right through the goal. The game was to not, to not cheat. <laughs> not cheat? Never what? cheat. Never cheat. Right? Yeah, because that's just going to be the worst one. That's the then worst you're one. Not going to make, then you're not going to make Play the game, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. You ready to play, man? Yeah, I'm ready. Ooh, give me one. I want to try. I want to try. Okay. You want that one? How are you doing this? Got it. You want to play too, Maddie? You want to play too, Maddie? Here, come here, sweetie. Oh! I'll put you on the side. You're my eight. These are my eight. Oh, Alright, nice. Facebook Live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is Puckett. This is how we built it. Oh, yeah. And, and, it's, and it's fun. <laughs> you guys have a Merry oh, Christmas. Yeah. And like always, before I plan on posting another blog one. post on this whole and thing, tomorrow, you tell him. You tell subscribe him. Down below. Subscribe, subscribe down, down below. below. If you're viewing this on YouTube, please subscribe down below. Also, comment, like, and let us know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Ready? And, uh,. See you tomorrow. I'm getting the most. I'm getting the most. You are getting the most. Bye. Bye. You are getting the most. Maddie. Oh yeah. Hashtag break.